so what is Heroku so let's make it simple and let's say you build a website and you that is not a static website it's a, a dynamic website built with node or any other backend language like python so now you have built all the website and you want to publish it or deploy it on the web so everybody on the world from anywhere in the world can access the website so what should you do you need a server you need your domain and you need to configure all the things on the server and that's gonna take a million years if you want to do it from scratch by yourself so Heroku makes it easier to just deploy easily so Heroku's main goal is to host our application on their web servers and run them 24 hours without any problem and there is a big problem if you're running your own server if the electricity goes out this is a big problem because web servers need to be running 24 hours and if there is no electricity then you'll be in great trouble and you can fix that by using alternative power sources but it it's 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 a crap it's it's not good at all so Heroku helps us play our application in a few clicks so that's basically what is Heroku so guys let's go ahead and take a look at the Heroku website so just type in Heroku in Google and then you'll find this Heroku.com click that this is basically the uh, Heroku website or the back end where you can configure all of the stuff so i have currently two apps running on here but if you have created a new account it might be empty so basically if i were to show you guys this is just a test app it's not any personal things so as you can see on the back end here we have in the settings you can reveal configure bars so basically a lot of as you can see the port is on 3000 basically where this goes if you're this is advanced stuff you guys don't need to learn any of this shit right now so basically this is a this video is about what is Heroku you don't know any of the coding stuff right now so that's basically it I guess this is the Heroku website and you can deploy it if you come here and deploy let me let me just create a new app if you click your new and then create a new app then just give any random app name I, I really don't care and then choose your region and then create app and then it's gonna take a little time little one second and then it will drop you on this deploy section in here and then you can just follow all the things in here instructions step by step and then you can publish your application on the web so as an example let me delete this i don't need that right now delete so after if you have like if you have an application deployed how it's gonna look is like this the domain there will be no custom domain so the app name dot app.com this will be the standard way how it's gonna work so i made this to-do list app and it's working just fine you can you know, log in the screen is a little smaller so log in and what uh, does my to do can delete this you can add stuff this is this is the application i deployed using heroku and it is free the first five application you do will be making it uh, like Heroku it will be all free and then you have to pay maybe I didn't try that at all right now I'm just testing out Heroku uh, for professional things I will be using AWS I will not touch Heroku at all I mean uh, yeah so guys that's basically uh, what is Heroku so guys thanks for watching the video drop a comment drop a like uh, share this video with your friends uh, if they don't know what is Heroku and I'll see you guys in the next video